if you don't already know me, my name is Megan Norris. I've been in Girl Scouts for around 10 years or so. And me and my fellow Girl Scouts have been kind of stuck with each other for a very long period of time. So, of course, <laughs> we've gained a lot of stories over those past years, so I would like to share one with you. This story took place around two years ago when some of the girls and I were selling Girl Scout cookies like by the side of the road, safely, not in the way. But, um, of course, it was one of the coldest and windiest days I think we've ever sold Girl Scout cookies, and we were freezing. So it was just Sarah, Michaela, and I, standing by, by the side with our signs, trying to attract the attention of passing cars in a safe manner. So we decided to formulate a plan to try and get more attention. We decided to form a line, and in synchronized motion, we began to do the can-can, trying to attract the attention of cars, and it did work. But that allowed us to multitask. We were able to stay warm while trying to attract the attention of cars. But, um, it probably looked really silly back then, us freezing our butts off, looking like marshmallows, trying to hold signs while doing the can-can on a freezing day, but I don't think we would have done it if we weren't together. So this is just one of the very small reasons that I believe that Girl Scouts has really brought us together as a troop. <clears throat> We've been with each other for a very long time through the highs and lows, and I don't think Girl Scouts, if we didn't even have it, I don't think we even would have met each other. I wouldn't even met Sarah, she's homeschooled, I wouldn't even know who existed. Michaela, I knew you, but I don't think we really hang out, we hung out that much, but Girl Scouts really strengthened our bond. Kate, I wouldn't have known you at all which is very sad. I wouldn't have known Gigi, Amber, or any of those great girls. And Girl Scouts has really become like a family to me. So we help each other through, encourage each other through like meetings and public speaking and all that. Um, we've helped each other on journeys, selling Girl Scout cookies and all of that. And we've also helped each other, like I said, the lows. So we've had some upsetting times where we've really had to like really pull our guns to try and group back together and work together, and that's really just made us stronger. So, I just want to, if I had a chance to thank someone who was one of the leaders of Girl Scouts, I just wanted to thank them because they gave me a second family. And because of Girl Scouts, I cannot say with full confidence that Girl Scouts has positively affected my lives, the lives of our Girl Scouts, the Girl Scout troop leaders, our parents, and a lot of people because we've been able to help so many others. Thank you. So, as many of you know, my name is Michaela, and um, I'm in ninth grade along with Megan. So, um, as many of you might know, today's message is how the Girl Scout program has brought our two members together. And for me, this is a pretty easy question to answer in a way, because um, without Girl Scouts, like Megan said, many of us wouldn't have met. Uh, we would have never crossed paths, and we would have never really got to know each other to the level that we do today. So this is especially true for my case, because like I said, I'm a year older than most everyone in my troop, and uh, I would have never developed the friendships within my troop that I have today. And that would be really, really, really devastating. So, Moving on. Um, a large part, though, I believe, of coming together is not just meeting another person, but like engaging with each other and just getting to know each other to a level that some people would never really get to see or experience. So, I believe that one of the most important and impactful parts of truly coming together, though, is forming a bond where you can support one another and be there for each other when help and understanding is needed. And I believe that this kind of togetherness can be found weaved in all areas of our Girl Scout troop. We are more than just people who are all involved in the same activity. Because we are friends, but even more than that, we are family. For instance, a couple of years back, we all went ziplining at a place called Refreshing Mountain. We had signed up to do both an obstacle course and ziplining, but when we were doing the obstacle course, and it seemed to be like, 100 feet in the air, and I was just completely petrified because there was a swinging log that we had across, and it was very, very painful. So, through this tough time, my Girl Scout friends encouraged me and helped me to get across the log, 
And I think what I appreciate the most, though, is that they never even made fun of me once for being scared. But in a broader view, we all help one another to be our best as individuals who are beautiful people on the inside and out. We have courage and strength as our structure, love and passion as our fuel, and laughter and excitement as the glue that holds us together in a way that is unique and different from that of anyone else. It is the endless laughter when we are all together that I enjoy the most. In a world that can be very stressful and exhausting, this laughter creates an atmosphere that can allow for me to relax and be myself without being judged. Our laughter within our troop is completely contagious because as soon as one person starts to chuckle, we all just eventually end up bursting out in a laughter that can probably be heard from a mile away. Moving on then, what I believe that I appreciate the most about how the Girl Scout program has brought us together is all the wonderful friendships I have made throughout the years, along with all the fantastic things that I've had the opportunity to do. Some of my closest and most valued friends are in this Girl Scout troop, and without Girl Scouts, I would have never been able to meet any of them, which would have really changed my life and put a huge space in my heart that only these people could fill. So thank you, St. John's, for sponsoring us and giving us the support to be able to fuel these friendships and so much more. Yeah, 
about. I mean, uh, something else I want to briefly tell you about that they already mentioned is that I'm cyber school, and I always have been, and these are my friends right here. <laughs> like, I don't have, like, super, like, a lot of friends because I am cyber school, and I don't interact with these other kids who are just, like, on the computer, and we don't actually talk outside of school. But with these girls, I see them, and they're my friends. <laughs> I keep saying that, but it's just it's because it's true. And um, so, yeah, um, we've also learned a lot through this program. And I mean, just public speaking skills, like right now, they just help us every day and every week. And um, when Julie Gordon Lowe first found the Girl Scouts, she created a way for young girls to create special friendships and skills for their lifetime. And um, I believe that all of us really have. Um, I want to sincerely thank you, St. John's, for opening your doors and believing in us. We would not be possible without you, and Pastor Dennis, Michael Adams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, one last thing I want to mention about my study experience is that eight years ago, our troop was in the need was was in need of a leader, and because our previous one had recently stepped down, and my mother didn't hesitate to step up, as well as my Aunt Lisa, who's currently in a nursing home, unfortunately, but she is still heavily involved, and both my mother and my aunt have helped our troop, and they all treat us like their own, and I just want to say thank you so much to my mom and my aunt, who's not here right now, but, so, so thank you so much. First off, 
off, I want to recognize all of the girls. Um, you guys think this morning you've messed up, and I've just seen wonderful young ladies learning lots and doing things that other people aren't doing, and I'm just so very proud of all of you. So today is Girl Scout Sunday, which is an event that is observed during Girl Scout Week and recognizes the founding of Girl Scouts on March 12, 1912. Our troop would like to honor and thank the Girl Scouts, both past and present, for their courage and confidence, character, who have all made the world a better place. Girl Scouts is an organization that has adapted over its 108 years to meet the changing needs of girls. But one thing remains the same today as it did when Girl Scouts was founded. Support for girls to grow into strong, independent women who can change the world by believing in themselves. Our troop would like to recognize and individually thank the Girl Scout volunteers present who give up their time and talents to our Girl Scout troop. We also want to recognize and thank the volunteers that could not be here today and one of them is my sister Lisa, who has been a volunteer since the girls were daisies. And I pray each day that she will be strong and back with us again, as she is a great asset to this church. In addition, I wish to thank Pastor Dennis and all of the members of the congregation for caring about our girls and supporting Saint, um, our Girl Scout troop. We are so very grateful that we have found a home <coughs> pardon me, here at St. John's. <coughs> Maybe some of you don't know, we used to meet at the library at the elementary school and the only boy would kill me, but he said to me one day, why don't you guys meet at St. John's? And I thought, I don't know, but we didn't. And so he got us in here and it's really become our home and we're very, very grateful because the library was nice, nice but it isn't this. These girls represent the leaders of tomorrow, each of these beautiful young ladies. <clears throat> bring something special to our troop. They have their own unique and wonderful talents, and they make the time that I spend with them meaningful and very special. I have learned a lot from them, and they do make the world a better place. Um, this summer, the girls will begin to work on their gold awards, which is the highest award in Girl Scouts, and I have no doubt that they will each earn their gold award and will continue to change the world for the better. I love each and every one of you, and you each hold a special place in my heart, and it is I that is best to be your leader. 